Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we anchor at Bowers, find a cave, and send our starter motor away to get serviced. Morning jig. Yeah. Morning jiggy jig. Morning jiggy jig. I had a look at the bucket this morning. Oh. <laughs> They're not big, but hey, we got one each. Four this morning, which is better than my usual none. <laughs> Actually caught some squid today after what two weeks oh, trying. Two weeks of trying. <laughs> we figured something out. <laughs> you googled it. <laughs> Google is your friend. Google is your friend. So they're little tiny squids, but hey, we're not complaining. So we're making sushi today. Oh yeah, we got a package. Oh, there's the package. A bit heavy. What's in there, Bow Bow? Uh, a starter motor. A starter motor's not heavy, by the way. <laughs> We've got our starter motor bag. That's plastic bag they use. What is it? Uh. Oh, it's big. Oh, it looks a bit nicer than what we had it in. Blue one. Uh. So we've got our, our old starter motor's been serviced, or what do you call it? Reconditioned. Reconditioned. So we've got our starter motor back. The guys have pulled it all apart, cleaned it, sprayed it, tweaked it, put new springs in it, played around with the brushes, cleaned up the armature, given it a whole once over, sealed all up so it should be pretty much watertight. Um, so I think we're good. I still want to back up one because we don't want to be stuck again if something happens or it gets wet. So the second starter motor ended up being 24 volts so we only ended up with a reconditioned one. Okay. I don't think we're in any rush for a new one. The mechanic seemed to reckon at least five years but just we just want a spare one just in case anyway. So but, as soon um, as we can get mail somewhere we'll, we'll order yeah. one and get mail. But it should be good. So I'm going to uh, put this in, start her up. Lee's back in his favourite spot for the last time. I've got a feeling this is the last time. <laughs> for a little while. I don't know for how long, but... So tell everyone what you're doing right now. Uh, look, I'm just making that bottom bolt that I could barely get access to. I'm winding it on and off with some never sees or anti sees uh, just to make it really easy so I can maybe do it up my finger as opposed to a fifth of a turn each time with a spanner that I can barely reach and drop ten times before I get a turn on so I was very tempted to put the starter motor in with two nuts on instead of three but 
Yeah, we really don't have any more trouble than what we have had with it. So, a little bit of anti-seize. I put that on everything now, just in case I have to undo it again. Makes life easy. Everyone use that. It's like a glove and works perfectly. So good. Our friends from Union Pacific actually let us borrow their spare starter motor while ours was away, just in case we needed it. This morning we took starter motor over back to Juan and after a chat on his boat, we looked over and saw a massive front coming for us. Yes, one minute it was calm and beautiful and the next. So we just had a massive storm coming through. A bit worried about, we've got our awning up, so we're just hoping it doesn't tear. moved we've moved down not very far just around behind it tucked behind a bit of a headland which is um, protected by the southeasterlies which is where that massive big storm just came from so it's really still in here we're really lucky we just had like a crazy storm with 15 plus knot winds and uh, one of our friends drifted in, drifted into another friend and they had got a bit of damage um, we followed Dave around here because he knew of this anchorage so we're here with him and the fronts but that was a really nasty nasty looking storm that came through and we were just really really lucky the bow of the boats got a little bit of damage happened and it was really scary it was waves and yeah it was very gnarly so it's a lesson learned that you just have the boat just ready to go and thank god we had our starter motor back yeah, it would have been a different different scenario if it was two days ago. So, yeah, it's all good. Thank goodness. So this is our damage from the uh, storm yesterday. We think it's just cosmetical. Is that a word? Cosmetic? <laughs> Not structural. Oh, I hope not. There was that much pressure on it. It's obviously moved enough just to, to knock the top coat off. It's just off. cracked. But after, we're just going to go and check on another guy first that apparently lost his toe just about and got a lot of damage from the storm yesterday. And boat, just, um, his anchor slipped and he actually ran into Dave's boat and he's um, in a bit of trouble. He's lost a solar panel and his wind generator, so we'll go and he's not answering his phone. We didn't really have enough fuel yesterday to get over there, but I've sort of emptied out a bit of this and that to sort of just get enough fuel together to go and see if he's all right. Yeah. So, we're 
on our way. It's better, but yeah. 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 So we're here with our friend Juan. Hello. Uh, I'm still laughing. <laughs> yeah, he's still smiling. He, still Lee smiling, hasn't started. Yeah. So he's had a bit of an accident yesterday in the big storm and um, he nearly lost his toe. So, Dr. Lee. <laughs> yeah. Done this a hundred times. Has uh, never stitched anyone. <laughs> No. <laughs> so it definitely needs stitching. It wasn't actually cut, it's actually been peeled back from pressure on the uh, toe rail. So we're going to try and put a couple of stitches in and close that up because it's really open. This is day two and it's Indonesia, so it's not a good idea to have yeah, stuff open. in the tropics. So we've got a little bit of local spray cleaner. Yeah, so unfortunately couldn't find a needle. <laughs> we do have the proper local, but we don't have a syringe. So we're going to see how we go. You got a bottle of rum? <laughs> I'm sure, uh, I'm sure we're going to put this on. You got <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just um, so we haven't managed to get the local quite right in there, but we're just going to see. That's good, the local's working. Now we're looking for fish. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I know you look like you know what you're doing. Okay. Like, could you see your bone? What? No, I could see the flesh though. Uh, the flesh broke as well. It was not a cut, it was like a broke. It just broke mm. the flesh and the skin and, and the nail and everything. Weird, eh? That flesh yeah, was pretty good. It was good, like though. when I was in the... And, um, and just like it slipped from the teak to the to this part and yeah. then to the bottom, so it's just like clunk, clunk, boom. Yeah, that's just a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah, and it hurt a little bit, but I thought it was like because my feet got squashed in like in the, in a in part between. like this. Yeah. Just in here now, and we've just got our fleshy bit over here. Oh. <laughs> which we've got to, we've saved till last and we're going to pull two more through here and that should be all together. <laughs> yeah. You're crazy. Dispre dispression. <laughs> if you uh, don't like blood, don't watch. Clean for sure yeah. as well. Yeah. Like yeah. Really like <laughs> <laughs> I'd one there so we can, we don't tear the skin. Yeah, yeah. You did. Um, and another, another one. And just like that way. Not in that way yet. Three stitches in, and Joanne was handling it bloody well. And Dr. Lee was doing a pretty good job too. And you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So then we got to stitch again. That's all. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, one more. One more. Only a little one. I think that was the worst. Yeah, one. you that can you can go deep onto the so that it doesn't like you were saying that it doesn't have uh, the. Yeah. <laughs> of course, the tie. We we'll get it's another one. Very good. That'd be long enough. Yeah, yeah, you can right. make another one on this side. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need you need a few more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you used your medical kit much? No. Is this the first I've, time? I burned my leg once here yeah. with water. Yeah. So, yeah. You have a purple. Oh, that's probably from the. Let me see. <laughs> that works better. <laughs> that's better distance, too. Yeah. This one will come together nicely. Budget? it? That's hard. So you're getting a massage. You're getting a massage. Yeah. <laughs> Feel toe, good. Toe massage. <laughs> okay. Does that release when you let go? No. That Probably takes well. six minutes. Yeah. Ta-da! You're done.
<laughs> Keep going. Practice. <laughs> Four stitches later and Joanne's toe was back together. Joanne was very grateful and we were happy to help. Hopefully that doesn't happen again anytime soon. Thanks Joanne for being a champ and letting us film. You're an absolute legend. Stitches with no needle and a dodgy doctor. Wow, good times. We headed back to Catalpa to move her back around so that we could go to Numbrella with Dave to get some fuel. This is how you fuel up your jerry cans in Numbrella. After getting fuel and a few things, we headed back to Catalpa where another storm was brewing up. Nothing like the day before, but you never quite know, so we're all a little on edge. Once we knew we were okay, Lee headed over to Juan to see if he needed any help, but he was fine. So I've just pulled anchor at Bowers and uh, we're heading off this morning. I had a terrible night's sleep last night. There's a rolly swell that's in here and we had another storm yesterday, so uh, we're out. We're going to hide in that first anchorage that we came to on Roti Island and um, that's uh, us until we get a clear spot to go up to um, Alor. So there's some crazy activity, storm activity at the moment, so we just want to get away from here and get somewhere safe. And uh, today's the day. So it's a bit sad because this is a beautiful place and we've enjoyed it a lot. But um, yeah, we just feel like it's our time to leave. And said goodbye and headed off. After that big storm we had and um, all the forces at work on the anchor and so on, I thought I'd just check this swivel. It's been on my mind for a little bit because it connects directly to the um, to the anchor and I've just, I don't know if it's how you do it but I know most anchors seem to be connected there but it seems to have a lot of force right there so comment below if I'm wrong but I've just cut this um, I'm gonna actually use this shackle to connect directly to the anchor um, and then I'm gonna leave that swivel a few links back just so there's not much pressure actually on this unit um, so that'll just I'm gonna put that just I just don't feel comfortable like this is pretty new the wear that's gone on here and this screw was actually a little bit loose that holds the pin in so I'm actually going to use a little bit of Loctite on here and really get that firm so yeah that would have only been a matter of anchorages before we were going to pull up without our anchor so it's, a, it's only been on there for like a year and it's got quite some wear on it so I'm going to try out this theory and I'm going to run it down the chain a bit so the load isn't actually on the unit, it's actually just working as a swivel. i put the load on that shackle where it turns and so on. Here and that's what I'm doing. So I've got two hours to get to our next anchorage and wow, I'm just glad I thought I'd check that and it was loose and ready to come off. Yeah, I just didn't like the forces at work on the anchor on all this here and it just makes sense to put it down line just as a swivel. I don't know if it's right, so all that can 
forces can be on that there, on a strong bit, on the shackle. Here, just safety on that pin. I put Loctite through these, right or wrong, I don't know, but I think it sort of makes sense. Now I've set that back a few links, so it's actually working as a swivel in my mind as opposed to working off these on the, on the edge of the anchor which I just concerns me with stainless. I've just so far on the boat seen it snap so many times in so many different ways. So yeah. So we're in a really protective anchorage on uh, Roti Island and we're just here to fix the bow of the boat. So in that big storm it all got cracked. Lee scraped it all out, pulled it all back. Um, it looks a lot worse than it is. So he's just going to put the mega epoxy over the nose of the boat and then run, run some silicon around the edge. But he'll probably explain that better. So we're trying to get it done as quickly as possible so we can head up to Allure. Um, we think there's crocodiles in here so it's a bit nerve-wracking having Lee and the tender working but we all have someone on croc watch. Very protective and courage what we're in. Don't know the name of it, I can't remember. But over here is the ferry terminal. So join us next time on Sailing Catalpa as Lee fixes the bow of the boat in crocodile infested waters and we head back to Kupang. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Cheers guys, we'll see you next time. Oh, it all comes all thanks to you all. to y'all